At number 10, we dive straight into Valencia's futuristic heart, the Ciudad de las Artes y las Ciencias. Born from the brilliant mind of architect Santiago Calatrava, this architectural marvel is a dazzling testament to the power of human ingenuity. It's like stepping into a whole other world, a world where art and science dance in harmony. Now let's take a virtual stroll to the hemispheric IMAX cinema. With its eye-shaped design, it's as if you're walking into the eye of knowledge itself. Here, the cosmos unfurls on a giant screen, leaving you starstruck and breathless. Next up, the Principe Felipe Science Museum. No hushed halls here, folks. This is a place that encourages touching, exploring, and questioning. It's a hands-on, minds-on adventure that's as fun as it is enlightening. A science fiction lover's paradise. This city within a city is a must-visit. Valencia's Ciudad de las Artes y las Ciencias, where the future meets the present and science meets art. Number 9 brings us to the largest aquarium in Europe, the Oceanographic. This aquatic wonderland hosts a myriad of marine environments, from the frosty waters of the Arctic, teeming with belugas and walruses, to the vibrant tropical coral reefs, home to a rainbow of exotic fish. But it's not all about gazing at fish tanks. The Oceanographic also offers spectacular dolphin shows that are sure to leave you in awe. These playful creatures put on a display of agility and intelligence that is nothing short of mesmerizing, and if you've ever fancied dining with sharks, you're in for a treat. At the underwater restaurant, you can enjoy a meal surrounded by a panoramic view of the aquarium, where sharks and other sea creatures glide by as you dine. A trip to Oceanographic is like taking a deep dive into the ocean without getting wet. At number 8, we venture into Valencia's wilderness at the Biopark. This isn't your typical zoo. Biopark immerses you in a world teeming with wildlife, recreating natural habitats from the African savanna to the dense equatorial forests. Here, barriers are invisible, and you'll feel like you're walking alongside the animals. Can you imagine the thrill of watching a leopard prowling just a breath away, or a herd of elephants roaming freely? And it's not just about the big cats and mighty pachyderms. Biopark is a haven for a rich variety of species. You'll encounter meerkats, lemurs, and exotic birds, among others. This place is a testament to conservation, education, and respect for nature. Plus, it's a fantastic spot to unwind and connect with the wild side of life. So, if you're keen to take a walk on the wild side without leaving the city, Biopark is your destination. Biopark offers a wild escape right in the heart of the city. Number 7 takes us back in time with the Torres de Theranos. These towering beauties, standing tall since the 14th century, were once part of Valencia's ancient city wall. Imagine the countless stories these walls could tell if they could talk. They've seen it all, from the hustle and bustle of medieval life to the devastating wars, and now, they stand as silent witnesses to the city's vibrant modern life. Climb up these majestic towers, and you're rewarded with a panoramic view that's nothing short of breathtaking. As you catch your breath, you can gaze at the expansive cityscape of Valencia, stretching as far as the eye can see. From the old town's terracotta rooftops to the futuristic silhouette of the City of Arts and Sciences, it's a sight that truly captures the spirit of Valencia. These towers stand as proud sentinels of Valencia's history. They remind us of the city's resilience and its capacity to blend the old with the new in a seamless dance of timelessness. Halfway through our list at number six, we step into Valencia's Sistine Chapel, the Iglesia de San Nicolas. This stunning church, located in the heart of the city, is a masterpiece of Baroque art and architecture. Its beautiful frescoes, painted by Antonio Palomino in the early 18th century, cover the entire ceiling, creating a breathtaking panorama of vibrant colors and intricate details. The church's architecture, a harmonious blend of Gothic and Baroque styles, is equally impressive. The high vaulted ceilings, ornate columns, and grand altarpiece add to the awe-inspiring spectacle. As you walk down the aisles, you can't help but feel a sense of wonderment and admiration for the artistic genius that transformed an ordinary church into a heavenly spectacle. Each fresco tells a story, each sculpture has a tale to tell, and each corner of the church reveals a new surprise. A visit to San Nicolas is a journey through Valencia's artistic soul. Before we unveil our top five, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and drop a comment about your favorite site so far. Now, let's continue our exploration of Valencia. Resuming our journey, we come to number five, the Gothic masterpiece, La Loña. This grand edifice, with its imposing facade and intricate detail, was once the bustling silk exchange of Valencia. The heart of commerce in the 15th century, 
It was where merchants gathered to trade in the luxurious fabric that was sought after across Europe. Today, Lalanya is more than just a relic of the past. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, recognized for its unique architectural beauty and historical significance. Inside, you'll find the grandeur of the Hall of Columns, a massive space supported by spiraling pillars that reach up to the vaulted ceiling, a sight that never fails to leave visitors in awe. Outside, the Orange Tree Courtyard offers a serene respite. From bustling trade hub to a celebrated historical monument, La Lonia is a testament to Valencia's rich past. At number four, we discover a hidden gem, the Museo del Patriarca. This elegant museum, tucked away in the heart of Valencia, is a treasure trove of Spanish art. As you step through its doors, you're greeted by an impressive collection that spans the ages. From the vivid colors of the Renaissance to the dramatic strokes of the Baroque period, each piece tells a story of Spain's rich cultural history. But art isn't the only thing this museum has to offer. As you wander through its halls, you'll find yourself in a serene courtyard. This peaceful oasis with its lush greenery and soft bird songs feels like a world away from the city's hustle and bustle. It's the perfect spot to sit, reflect, and truly appreciate the beauty that surrounds you. The Museo del Patriarca is a tranquil oasis amidst the city's bustle. Number three brings us to another of Valencia's historical landmarks, the Torres de Quart. These imposing towers, once part of the ancient city walls, have stood tall and proud since the 15th century. The Torres de Quart were not just ornamental, they played a vital role in defending Valencia. Imagine the clamor of battle, the thunder of cannons. Yes, cannons. The towers bear the scars of numerous sieges, their weathered stone pockmarked with the impact of countless cannonballs. These marks are not blemishes but badges of honor, each one telling a story of resilience and survival. Over the centuries, the Torres de Quart have seen the rise and fall of empires, the march of armies, and the ebb and flow of life in Valencia. Yet they remain a testament to the city's indomitable spirit. And so, standing tall and resilient, bearing the marks of history not as wounds but as symbols of endurance and strength, the Torres de Quart bear the scars of history with grace. Just missing the top spot at number two, we have the bustling Mercado Central. Imagine a place teeming with energy, where locals and travelers alike converge. A place where the air is thick with the aroma of fresh fruits, vegetables, and an array of local delicacies. This is Mercado Central, the beating heart of Valencia's culinary scene. Here, the vibrance of the market is palpable. It's more than just a place to buy groceries. It's an experience. From the moment you step in, you're greeted with a riot of colors from the variety of fresh produce on display. The market is a symphony of sounds, from the chatter of vendors to the clatter of utensils. And then, there's the food. From the freshest seafood to the most succulent meats, from tempting pastries to the finest cheeses, the market is a gastronomic paradise. You can even indulge in local delicacies that are a testament to Valencia's rich culinary heritage. Indeed, Mercado Central is a feast for the senses. Finally, at number one, we arrive at Valencia's crown jewel, the Cathedral de Valencia. This magnificent cathedral is a testament to the city's rich history and diverse cultural influences. It's a stunning blend of Romanesque, Gothic, and Baroque architecture that perfectly encapsulates the essence of Valencia. One of its most striking features is the Miguelete Tower. This Gothic bell tower offers breathtaking views of the city, and climbing its 207 steps is a must-do for any visitor. But the real treasure of the cathedral is something else entirely. Nestled within its walls is the Holy Grail, the legendary Chalice of Christ. Yes, you heard it right. This cathedral is one of the few places in the world that claims to house this sacred relic. Whether you're a history buff, an architecture enthusiast, or a spiritual seeker, the Cathedral de Valencia has something for everyone. The Cathedral de Valencia truly is the heart of this vibrant city.